Hey everyone, it's Annie and welcome back to my channel. Today is actually December 16th, but this is supposed to be for December 15th. I completed making the tutorial that I'm going to share with you guys last night, except then I fell asleep before I could finish filming the um, narration of the video. So that is what I'm doing right now. Hello everybody, it is technically December 16th, but today we are going to be talking about day 15 of Vlogmas, where I am going to be sharing with you a really interesting DIY. So today I'm going to be sharing with you guys a DIY for these wool felt ball coasters. They look super adorable, and I was actually able to go online and find these handmade felt balls in Christmas form. Um, it's a very simple tutorial. You need three things. You need cork coasters, this really interesting glue, what is it, E600 glue, comes in like these little mini things, E600, and then of course you need your wool felt balls. Now these actually took like three weeks to come in the mail, which is why this tutorial is coming so late. I was originally going to make this tutorial like one of the first episodes. <laughs> I have the hiccups. But um, then... They just took a while to get here. I finally got them and I finally made the tutorial. I make it a little bit differently than the directions say, but you know, we'll talk about that when we get there. I'm gonna throw in what I can of the DIY. Also, I filmed it very poorly because I did it like super late at night since I was exhausted. But let's watch it anyways, let's go. So like I said, this DIY is very easy. You just need um, the one centimeter wool felt balls. You need about 90 to 100 per coaster, depending on the size of your coaster. I got definitely about 90 to 100. You need cork coasters and then E600 glue. So you begin by gluing one felt ball to the center of the coaster. Um, it is explained that um, to use a long skewer to place the glue where you wanted it, and then the other rings you just put glue directly on the cork. I just kind of like tried to use a um, toothpick to do that, but then I realized it was just easier for me just to like go for it and put the glue on. Um, the only issue with this is that you really need to try and keep the balls as tight as possible if you want it to look nice. So throughout the day, Inspired by Charm does continue to make this versus the way I did it. I really just did it within like an hour or two. Um, I was too impatient, unfortunately. So, but um, it is stated to keep the balls as tight as possible. You'll want to stop and allow the glue to dry every so often as you work around the coaster. I worked on my coasters on and off throughout the day. Continuing working all the way around your coaster is completely covered for the last row. Just add enough space to glue each ball onto the little coaster and a little to the felt ball next to it. This made the cork coaster virtually disappear. After everything is dry, your coasters are ready to use. It's a super simple project and I think the end product is really spectacular. The coasters are so unique and colorful, clearly a perfect addition to my space. So I ended up with two different types of end coasters. I did the one where it was directed to put some on the outside so that the coaster is hiding, but it doesn't come out perfectly round the way that theirs did, which is kind of a bummer. So then I also have one that I just left it without, and I actually don't really mind this. This is kind of cute to me, and um, I prefer this. Until I can master the art of having a round coaster, I would recommend sticking with this, just because it was, again, easier and looks prettier to me than this. This looks kind of eh especially with the expensive felt balls that I spent a lot of money on. My nose is itchy. But yeah, so um, that's about it that I have for you guys today. Thank you so, so much for watching this episode of Vlogmas. Feel free to like this video as well as comment down below and you tell me, what are your thoughts on coasters? <laughs> I don't know what to think, guys. These are actually the first coasters that I've ever, I've ever made and I do have a lot more coasters that I want to make, but we will get to that eventually. Feel free to subscribe to this channel so you can continue getting updates and other videos that are to come. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll actually be seeing you in a little bit because I have yet another video that I have to film. Peace out.